Hi guys, so someone asked me to do a tutorial for creating tattoos and I recently figured out a way to make it more realistic, I guess, and it's an easier, faster way to make tattoos. So you're going to need five programs or five items on this list to do this or to follow this tutorial so the download links will be available below you need sims 4 studios the uv templates by andrew gimp photoshop any kind of photoshop and then the dds plugin for photoshop and all of that will be in the description and i recommend that you download it first so you can follow this tutorial as we go so you want to open up GIMP and your UV template for the young adult female and it should look like this and the dimensions is 1024 by 2048 and then you want to open up Simsource Studios Harmony and then you want to open up your Photoshop so here in Sims 4 Studios, you want to go cast, create cast standalone. And then here, you want to go to female, adult, part type, scroll down to tattoo. And depending on what position you want your tattoo in, you can choose. But I don't recommend your, like, um an upper arm on the lower back like here because the cast in cast the sim will like switch around and you can't see it it's really annoying but just choose wherever your tattoo is going to be so um some sort of studios doesn't have some for like lower left arm and things like that so just choose one i usually choose tattoo upper arm left because that's like easiest one that would be available so save it to your um, designated folder um, my folders are pretty organized because I name it some source stuff work in progresses and then I have clothing hairs makeup shoes recolors everything tattoos and separate folders so I go to work in progress tattoo tattoo tutorial test and then I'm going to name it my package mm. um, name it I recommend that you name it in brackets your name or your brand name or something so people can in case people do lookbooks or something they need to look back on who created it right okay I don't know that helps me figure out who made who I mean, who made what? So here, scroll out, and this is how it's gonna look like. Um, depending on your computer, this sim won't render as well. I know on my laptop it renders horribly, but on this computer it actually renders pretty nicely. So this is the original tattoo. So what we're going to do is go on the right side of this, this, this screen and export the diffuse, the texture, and you can see it's here. So export it and then name it original. And you can name it PNG because we're not going to be using it for the final. We just need a guideline. So this is our a guideline. So here um, in the categories, you can make your um, your preferred settings. So maybe you want it to be for female, female and male, or you want it to be feminine, masculine, or you don't want it to be for your aliens or vampires. And then I usually take off allow for random because it's weird seeing Sims with like purple hair or things like that. So we're going to open up as layers. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> go to GIMP. 
have our young adult female template. It looks weird, I know, but it'll all make sense. Open as layers and then find our original tattoo. Go to your tattoo folder where you save the original diffuser or the original texture. Open it up and then this is how it looks like. This is your guideline. <clears throat> So now we have our guideline. It has to be on separate layers, okay? If you notice, oh, the tint is so different. Um, so everything has to be on separate layers. So we have our template, and then we have our original. And then now we can go into browser, go to Google Images, and then depending on what you want for your like for your um, tattoo, you can search up easily what you want. So let's, for example, we want mm, tribal, tribal tattoo design. And here we have our tribal tattoos. So we're gonna take this one. It looks like the most simplest one. And before, I used to always want to search up transparent tattoos or easy to cut out tattoos because the white does not look good. We need a transparent. But thanks to um, Trilkey, Trilkey, I think that's how I pronounce her name. But she was super helpful and she helped me with this really helpful um, method to get rid of the whites and. I think it's very effective and I just want to thank her for that because she's so lovely and I will include her tumblr down in the description so you can look and she makes like beautiful CC anyway anyway so we're going to copy this image and we're going to go back to our GIMP file and then we're going to control V or edit paste as new layer and then you're going to see floating selection pasted layer. To get rid of this, just press create new layer. And then it's a new layer. So now we have this. We are going to create a new layer. Transparency. Okay. Oh, okay. So right click it. The transparent layer. And then merge down. And now it's like, it's it's instead of a, a little box, it's the whole photo. Photo size, yeah, photo size. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, so now we can start extracting this white, this white here, and we just go to colors, color to alpha, and then make sure the white is selected from the color so white gets rid of the white but then if you do black it gets rid of the black and it leaves the white that's how it's gonna look like so we don't want that so we're going to do color color to alpha white and then press ok and we have our transparent tattoo so now place it where you want it and I'll just put it there on the left arm or right I don't know but so now we just delete this original layer so now this is um how it's gonna look like this is our tattoo and depending on where you want it, it the bigger it is the more spread out on the body it's going to look like so i'm going to just resize it a little bit and here this is our scale window so this is our width height and we need to change this because 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 right now it's on length you can resize it like like that and it won't size together so we're just going to click this God, it's not working okay and then now we can scale it and it'll it won't change um proportions 
it'll keep the same dimensions and it won't stretch out it won't look weird so now I am pretty satisfied with this so we are going to create a new layer again transparency merge down delete the young adult female with this button here and then file export as go to your tattoo um, folder again and then name it as new texture or you can name it whatever you want as long as you remember it and you can differ between the original and the new one so now we go to here and then we go to Photoshop open up your diffuser I mean your texture <laughs> um, tattoo tutorial test our new texture and then here we have it and um, it looks a bit weird so we're just going to edit the adjustments Wait, what Oh, okay. I'm not good with Photoshop, that's why I'm like struggling right now. Oh gosh. How come it's not? Okay, hold on. Just copy. That is weird. And then just drag it on there. I have no idea how to work Photoshop that well. So if you know a way to make your tattoo darker, just do it your way. I just copy pasted it, set it to multiply, and then put it over the tattoo. And then you can change the opacity. But I want it to be darker. And then you can do merge visible. If you do flatten image, it'll create a white background and we want a transparent one because if there is an image around the tattoo the whole sim will be white and it's not a good time so now we're going to do sharpen you can do sharpen in GIMP but sharpen in Photoshop is stronger and more like high res than in GIMP and then we're going to do save as in our tattoo tutorial test folder we're going to save it as DDS here so we're going to format DDS, save, and then we're going to do DXT5 interpolated alpha. So save, and it should be saved, and we're going to import, and then here in the file name below, we're going to put DDS.DDS, and then we're going to open up our new texture, and here we have it. It looks weird because I put it up on the shoulder and that's where it start it clips like it just looks weird so we're going to go back and then we're going to drag it down a bit and then we're going to save it as DDS again save and then we're going to import it again and there it looks better now so now we have our new arm tattoo and if you import your texture as PNG and you have a custom thumbnail, it won't look right in game. It will have a checkered white and red, I think, all over the sim and it's all wonky. So I suggest you delete it and then make sure you have a DDS texture file imported and then make sure your settings are correct and you are finished if you need help making like tattoos or you want more personal help with it like one-on-one -on -one talk talk about it um i'm always open to talking i can always help if you have any troubles or questions so yeah thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask i will answer them have a great day. I'm so sorry I suck at this. <laughs>